Good morning, everyone. Welcome back. We had a nice little weekend. We had Monday off. We had yesterday off for elections. Hopefully, everyone got a chance to go out and vote. Um, but today, we are for foundations. We're actually going to go into reading A to Z. Reading A to Z is a level library online for our students. Um, the license has been purchased by Baltimore City, and um, it allows them to go through various levels of books um, it allows you to click on it starts at level like i think it's like double a um and that's like a pre primer which is like a pre-k um level and then it moves up um i will give you the breakdown of the levels according to where they should be um our students at the end of kindergarten should be able to read on a level c Level C is where they end at between the level C and the level D. First grade starts at a D and then it goes up. I'm not sure where it ends at for first grade. Um, so we're going to be taking some time to practice um, reading decodables um, on reading A to Z. And I'm going to actually show you how to access it. Um, on reading A to Z, they actually have the opportunity to listen to the story excuse me, and then they also have the opportunity to read the story. And they gather points um, if they're able to read the story and listen, and they also listen to the story. I think it's like 10 points for listening to the story. It's like 50 points for reading the story. Um, if they are reading the story, I don't, I want you to be, um, to definitely monitor them to make sure that they're actually reading and not just clicking through, because I actually went through one of the students' logins. And you're actually able to click through and then get the points. But I want to make sure that our friends are being able to read it because it serves as a purposeless activity if they are not reading. Um, so I have looked at the videos of the decoding. Um, so there are some of our friends that have mastered that. And I'm not going to make, I'm not going to assign them that activity anymore. Um, I'll give you more words to put into the decodable and um, into the resource box. And I'll also give you words um trick words to add to the resource box but there are some friends that are going to get um so foundations are going to look a little bit different everyone will um get a chance to record i mean to read um practice on reading a to z but then there'll be some friends that are actually going to be assigned a decodable and an activity to go with that excuse me and then there'll also be um some friends who um will be able to have their activity and then for reading and then they'll also have a decoding activity and that will be i will actually to continue to make those videos and we'll see how our friends are progressing and then once they have matched it according to where i think they should be then i'll be able to move them along to the next activity okay so i'm going to share my screen and show you how to access um reading a to z for children, for our friends. So um, this is the website. Um, the website is actually www.kidsa-to-z.com. If you type in reading A to Z, you're not going to get the correct um, login. You won't get the student login. You'll get to like the teacher's login and that's not where you want them to be. So you wanna make sure that you're putting in the correct um, the correct uh what is this called website into the address bar and so then miss thomas is because she's the reading teacher they have all the kids listed under her um they deactivated my account because i'm technically a math teacher so the log the, the teacher's username is the same for all students so it's j thomas 230 and then you hit go and then all of the students' names pop up. Please, please, please do not click on anyone's name that's not yours. Because guess what? That other friend is going to get the credit. And you're not going to get the credit for what you've been doing. So I'm going to use, um, let's see, I'll use Chandler as an example. And so you click on that student. And then it brings you to this activity. And then you're able to click on reading and then go to the reading room. 
and then they have the reading room they have topics they have level books i want you to go to level books just so that you can see um where they are so as you see she only has and this is for all the kids they will only have um a double a a and b once they've mastered b then they're able to go to the other levels they'll open up for them okay so after you've done that you can click on um let's just click on b and it will bring up sorry it will bring up the books on that level and then they can click on any of the books and then they'll be able to um read and let's look at healthy snacks and so as you see they have to listen they read and then there's a quiz as you see they have their um, points if they listen they get 10 stars if they read they get 50 stars and if they complete the quiz once they've done one of these then they'll get 150 stars so we're just going to click on read i'm not going to go through the activity because i don't want to give books so as you see it says level b it gives the title it gives the author and it also gives the website and then they are able to um you can also click on the recorder you can record them reading um and then hit next and it'll take them through at the end they'll be able to get their um stars and then it keeps collection of the stars at the top all right once you're done you're just going to hit log out and then it'll bring you back here please do not click on another students i really don't like the fact that they did it like this but i can't control that that is the website um but i trust that our friends will only click on their name. Do not be nosy and trying to go into someone else's name um, while someone else's login. And so for my friends who have an assignment, I will actually give them the actual um, title that I want them to go to and the level that it's on and the activities to go with it. All right, so that is our activity for today. So our lesson for today is to log into I'm reading A to Z, um, take pictures, um, do a video of them re reading. Um, you can choose between a level um, double A, uppercase A, and B. Once they've mastered that, then the rest of the levels will open up for them. And it also depends on where they test it for um, on their Amplified as well. So please, 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 it is a level for them. Um, and if you have any questions let me know if you find that the material that's available to them is still too easy let me know um then then i can adjust it in the teacher setting and then we can go ahead and um move on and get some more rigor uh, materials for our friends to use so thank you for tuning in um under this video i will above the video I will put in the website and uh, the directions for the activity for today as well. If you have any questions, let me know. We can discuss them in our parent meeting today at 115. Um, I'll also go over this in our parent meeting as well. And um, starting tomorrow, we will have different assignments. So we'll have a decoding assignment and then we'll have a decodable assignment. If you don't see the decodable assignment, I didn't assign it to you. If you only see the decoding activity, that's what I want you to do. If you only see the decodable activity, that's what I want you to do. Um, so the assignments are going to look a little bit different. Um, we're just going to move into trying to do online small groups and um, individual needs, individualized activities for students. So um, let me know if you have any questions, and I look forward to seeing you at 15.